Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own, I have this camera and you watching, so grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. You found a soy milk cappuccino, purchased the same pano chocolat as it was that good, explored Plaza de Madrid, had a mini anxiety attack to land me in Plaza Mayor to discover chanting Manchester City fans. Let's keep exploring. We are standing in front of the gates, obviously, of the Paliso Real de Madrid, the Royal Palace. That's about all I know about it. I'm not a facts person. It's quite gorgeous. This is inside. You can thank Wikipedia for this information. So the Royal Palace of Madrid is the largest in Western Europe and one of the largest in the world with over 135,000 square meters, not feet, meters, and 3,418 rooms. It has witnessed centuries of Spanish history and is one of the few official seats of head of state that is open to the public. Oh yeah, I thought about going inside, but I just realized the line goes all the way down there. Not for me. just heard a whistle because a security card did not like that someone was sitting on this ledge and I didn't like it either because it's quite the drop below. Beautiful view of the city here. We are at Cathedral Crypto Crypta. I'll have to look it up. That was Cathedral de Santa Maria la Real de la Alhudena. I'll make sure to put the title there since I butchered the title. Friends, I think we end the video here for today. I'm going to head back to my Airbnb to continue doing some work. I'm staying closer in two nights at a hostel in the city center of Madrid, so I'm trying to spend more time working these first few days, and then when I'm closer to the city center to explore, it's a lot easier. So off we go back on the train home. Good morning, friends. Finally got dressed. <laughs> It's 1040. I have been sleeping a lot, but also waking up just feeling really funky. We are going to go get coffee. We're going to eat breakfast at home. I actually found a vegan coconut yogurt at the grocery store and I bought some muesli because I also know my next location I'm not flying to, which means I don't have to worry about food or my bags. So I can have an extra bag. Let's grab some coffee. <music> groceries for lunch and made myself a nice little sandwich for lunch and I'm just getting itching and kind of frustrated with work so I thought okay I better go get some sunshine before the sunshine kind of disappears and then I looked at there is a chocolate churro place nearby which I've been hearing lots about so I thought okay I'll start walking I'm very good at directions right <laughs> I thought okay just go to the major street turn left go to the other major street turn right I start walking, I'm in a beautiful area, it's so quiet, it's so nice. And I looked at the map, I went the complete opposite direction, so I need to go left and right on the other side of this one main street. So 12 minute walk is now a 25 minute walk. I think it'll be worth it, but I'm just laughing at myself. Because folks, I am so bad with directions. <laughs> You'd be shocked. Yes, I survived fine by myself, because that's why folks you get data as a solo traveler. Because you always need backup. Okay, 
gordas y chocolate and so we dipped one in the other. But damn, I didn't think I'd get two. <laughs> It tastes like olive oil because all it is is fried, like flour. Hello, beautiful friends. It is currently 2:02 a.m. Thought it was important to cover this because I cannot sleep. I have tried my sleeping music. I have tried counting. Sleep to Netflix, which I'll have to do tonight. I don't know what to do when tomorrow I have to move accommodations, so I think I'm going to be extra tired, and I think that's why I'm getting just anxious about it. Normally at home, I'd move to my couch, like back in Vancouver. I don't know why, but that always helps me sleep instead of my bed. But here, I got one bed to choose from. As you say, it's in a lovely <laughs> granola. Because sometimes a full tummy needs to sleep. <laughs> anyway, here's to falling asleep again. Good morning. I'll follow up from last night's fiasco. I think I finally fell asleep closer to 3 a.m. Then I woke up at 4.30 a.m. And I know no joke. <laughs> I think my host was frying because I woke up to like bubbling noises and I thought, oh my god, is it raining outside? Like the rain's coming inside or something, but no, I think he was cooking. So then I fell back asleep. The bags are really real today, yeah. but it's already 10 20. I need to be out of here by noon, but I also told myself to leave by 11, so time to get, get going. Hello friends, we just arrived into my hostel room. No one's in here right now, so it's a perfect chance to give you a little tour. We have a little mat on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the female only room. So the shower. This is my space. You have your own light. This pop down, pops down to be a little table. This is the drawer space, which does not fit my suitcase. And I have brought my Unlock with me. So I think I'll just keep my suitcase there. Got some more above me. Right here. We have two more beds. Another mirror. Hello. We have the window, which is looking to the little terrace. Two more beds. It looks like we have another shower space. Then we have two washrooms. It's so dark in here. And the toilet. The banyo. Oh, this one's open this way. The banyo. So far, it's a super cute space. They have a great restaurant downstairs. I was actually spending about three hours this morning working on some reports. So they have a nice coffee area restaurant. I did purchase breakfast included. The, the hallways are completely black. They're like pitch black, which will be good for bedtime to be nice and dark, but definitely hard to see. And everything is a QR code. So you actually just take your phone and you scan your QR code in the elevator and also to get in the room, which is nice to know people who are in the restaurant can't even get up to or don't have a QR code to go upstairs. It smells kind of like mildewy in here though. My mom would hate it. <laughs> it just sounds, it smells damp. Feels damp, I suppose, because there's showers and maybe no fan. Anyway, I'm just gonna get myself organized here. I might go check out the rooftop terrace. We are just on the rooftop terrace of my hostel, and I definitely think I'm gonna grab my computer and come work up here because it is such a nice day. Not too hot though, I'm still wearing all black. Oh my God, just what a gem, a hidden gem up here. Where be in? We got lunch at Salafaria. I couldn't quite finish all of this falafel pita, but I give it a five out of five. Really fresh vegetables, nice, hummus even like a curry sauce on it 
some cabbage, cucumber, tomato, parsley, pickled onion. Feels really good to get some veggies in me, but also some protein from the falafel. Now we're going to go run two errands slash explore. So we're on the hunt to get a stamp for Canada to send back a postcard. I was supposed to go from New York and one other thing, but I forget what. It's just a gorgeous day. The sweater might have to come off, but my arms have not seen sun since Cuba. I need to find some sunscreen first. That's what I need to get is sunscreen before my arms are revealed. It is definitely busier today by Plaza España compared to yesterday because today is Good Friday and it's a holiday so I feel a lot of people aren't working and my host did confirm that that it's a holiday and he calls it a bridge so if you get a Tuesday off that means you normally get the Monday off as well so you can take a long weekend although this one is obviously Friday and Monday they get off but yeah it's busier on the street so I just choose to walk on the less chaotic streets and I'm still in the hunt for sunscreen just in case I wanted a Timmy's, we found it. No, oh, thank you. bonkers today very feeling like New York and busy and every kind of store we have in North America they love the NYX makeup here but I took off my shirt and I have not not had a sweater on since I went to Cuba for a week over New Year's and before that was like last summer so I'm feeling quite naked right now just because I've been used to wearing layers this whole time but I wanted to mention two thing masks wearing doesn't seem to be an issue here everyone wears a mask when they're indoors obviously not when you're eating or outside outside it's so so lots of people smoke which if people know me personally not my favorite smell and it's kind of like a pet peeve to walk behind someone who's smoking here more center madrid instead of cuatro caminos i say something in spanish to order food and they instantly switch to english so they obviously know i'm not a little girl. There were two more things I wanted to mention. One, I'm noticing not unique to Spain, but definitely more common in Europe is how much outdoor space there is. So in Vancouver, at least they had to cut into the roads to create patios and outdoor spaces where here you sit on the plaza and there's plenty of tables and it's just quite the moment to eat, be eating a full meal like directly in the sun and the fresh air, it's beautiful. The second thing is, I forgot how many cars are stick shift. In North America, we so often drive automatic cars. I can drive standard, fun fact, um, but you can definitely tell the difference here of people trying to get into first, reversing, it just sounds different. Um, but it's nice to see such petite cars, like North America is just so oversized, we don't need so much. And here, the portions and everything is just controlled and makes sense. I know I had every intention of going out for dinner. I even had a place chose a vegetarian spot and then I found a grocery store where I finally picked up sunscreen for tomorrow and then I thought mm, I still have half a baguette to eat. So I picked up more howda and got some vitamins and also a little something special citrus beverage. It's a good one. It's cheaper than dinner. night. I am currently sitting in my hostel room editing a video. <laughs> So far it's a super cute space. We have an 